Hello everyone. So in this video, I will be showing you how to convert from flow data type to integer data type in Python. So I will be showing you two methods, okay, two inbuilt functions to convert from float to int type. So let's get started. So first, let me declare a float variable. So let n be my variable equal to 5.3, which is a decimal. So it's obviously of a type float. And now if I just go and print, print type of n, which basically gives the data type of the variable. So if I just run it now, I'll be getting class float as the output. So this is of type float. And the simplest way, that is the first method to convert from float to int is by using the inbuilt int function. So if I just go over here, instead of type, if I put int, okay. So this converts our variable n, which is of float type to integer type. So if I just write now, I'll be getting phi in the output. Okay? The reason is because uh, in integer doesn't accept decimal, so it's just basically remove this point zero gets removed. So let's suppose say that we want to convert this variable n itself to an integer type, okay? So in that case, what we'll be doing is that really simple, just take this and we'll be putting n equal to paste it over here. So this basically overrides this 5.3 to 5 and also converts from float to integer type. So if I just go over here and now type type of n, so this time instead of class float, I will be getting class int, which means that it has been converted successfully. So the main problem with using this int uh, conversion is that, so now if I just go and print, print n, okay, I will just print n, I will just save it. And if I just write now, I will be getting 5, which is absolutely right. And if I just change this to 5.9, let's say 5.9, and if I just run it now, so it, it won't give output as 6. The reason is because uh, we would expect them expect it to give 6 because 5.9, if it's just simply round off, 5.9 is quite closer to 6 than to 5 because uh, we expect it to give 6 if it is like 5.5 or above, but it's giving 5. So to solve this error, we will be like using math, okay? We will be importing math header file and we will use math.seal and math.floor. So which basically solves this problem. So I will put import math. And this is all good. So if I just now go over here, I'll first do it. So same thing, n is equal to 5.9. And if I just go over here and put math.floor. Okay, so I'll go on. So math.floor, as you can as the name suggests, it just gives a lower value. That is if 5.9 is there, it will just reduce it to 5. Okay, so if I just save it and run it, I'll be getting 5 in the output. So if I just now put math dot seal, seal is the highest value in the range. So C E I L. So if I just save it now, I'll be getting sync, which is the, like the range, the highest value in the range 5 to 6. And I guess this works for like ranges between 5.5 to 5.5. So if I just put 5.2, so if I just put math dot seal, still I will be getting 6. Okay. So there isn't any specific criteria that it should be greater than 5.5. Okay, so it can be like anything, basically five point, and if you put math.c, it will give you like the range, highest range in that uh, in that particular gap. So now what we're going to do is, uh, but what is this data type now? Because we're using math.c, and we need to know the data type of n, okay? So I will just cut this over here, and same thing as we did for int type. So I'm going to put n equal to math.c. So it can be math.floor also. So if you just save it now, uh, sorry, I need to put type of n. Okay, so if I just save it and if I just run it now, so it's still of a type int. So it basically again converts, does the same thing as the inbuilt function int it, but it just solves the problem of rounding off. Okay, we can just get the lower range as well as higher range of that particular decimal number. So I hope you have found this video useful. I have also done many other Python videos uh, as well as program videos in C, C++, Java uh, and SQL interview queries as well as interview questions as for the studio animation printer. So do check out the rest of my channel, subscribe and support me. Thanks for watching.